Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. Today we are going to discuss about a short topic that is why we need a cDNA library or our genomic library. We have discussed in detail about cDNA library and genomic library in our previous videos. So this video will tell you the most important advantage of having a cDNA library. So this is a genomic library of a new carrier. So genomic library is simply a set of clones containing a specific DNA fragment that is maintained as bacterial colonies. This A, B, C, D, E represent different gene fragment that is maintained in bacterial colonies. This collection is called as genomic library. So you can refer our previous videos. In a genomic library, we are incorporating the genomic fragment into the bacterium. Therefore, that gene will be having both exons and introns as in the case of eukaryotic gene. So exons are the coding sequences and introns are the non-coding sequences. The most common method of expressing a eukaryotic gene is inside a prokaryotic host like E. coli. So while introducing this gene inside E. coli, this E. coli doesn't have a mechanism to splice out these introns and join these exons. As in bacterium, the gene consists of only exons. So in order to express a gene an eukaryotic gene inside a prokaryotic system will find it difficult while using genomic library. Therefore, inside bacterium there is no expression as bacteria doesn't have a mechanism to splice out these introns and joining these exons. Here comes the advantage of cDNA library. cDNA library is same, similar to that of genomic library except the difference that here the cDNA is cloned. cDNA is a processed mRNA where these introns are removed and exons are joined. We are making cDNA from mRNA by reverse transcription. We have discussed in detail in our previous videos. So this cDNA doesn't have intron. Therefore, we can use it for expressing inside a prokaryotic host very easily as prokaryotic host, the system is the same. Here, there is only exons and prokaryotic host can transcribe and translate it into protein very easily. So for gene expression of a eukaryotic gene inside a prokaryotic system, the choice is the cDNA library. So this is just, just to remind you uh, from where we get our gene of interest for gene cloning and the primary source is genomic library. Genomic library has many limitations. That is why we have cDNA library. cDNA library is simply set of clones, collection of clones containing cDNA of an individual organism under study that is maintained as colonies. Hope you got the point of the importance of cDNA library in eukaryotic gene expression inside a prokaryotic system. And that's it. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsorry.com.